At the Children's Burn Centre in Bristol, we see 800 new children's burns severe enough to come to a children's burn centre each year. At the moment, we're actually pretty good at, at getting children's scald injuries to heal, mostly without scarring, with new biological dressings. However, these dressings only work when they're put on the burn wound and left untouched for up to two weeks. With a child who has a large burn, they often get an inflammatory response after the burn injury that's completely normal, or they might be succumbing to a very serious burn wound infection. If a child presents with a temperature or is unwell, our decision as clinicians is do we take off the dressings, the expensive dressings that can cause the child to potentially heal to a normal state, or do we worry that if we don't take those dressings off, the child may potentially succumb and die from the infection? At the moment, we have no scientific basis on which to make that decision. We have purely guesswork to go on. The laboratory tests don't distinguish between the inflammatory state and the infected state. So we're working very closely with the University of Bath with Dr Toby Jenkins to come up with a dressing using nanotechnology to produce nanocapsules that are sensitive to bacterial toxins and will only release an indicator dye when sensing those bacterial toxins when the child has an infection to alert the clinician to a real infective wound state and then on coming across the bacterial toxin release a treatment, an antimicrobial for that infection. It's very exciting and it's due to this positive relationship between the Children's Burn Centre at Frenchay Hospital in Bristol and the Chemistry Department of Bath. The, the linkage between the, the real science with the real clinical environment and patients is absolutely vital and that's because the clinicians understand the clinical problem that will make a difference to patients and the scientists can progress the, the academic science. That linkage, it's the linkage that's important. With that very positive relationship, the research is going ahead e extremely well and we're very close to producing a real effect on children's lives in the next four years. The potential impact is huge. Nationally, 38,000 children are injured by burn injuries each year. 5,000 require hospitalisation. As a clinician, it is very difficult to see children with serious burn injuries deteriorating from their burn injury and not know how to treat them. This project has the ability to enable us to make that decision more accurately. We can save children's lives, we can prevent lifelong scarring and we can save the healthcare environment many thousands or hundreds of thousands of pounds with this advance in science. For me as a clinician, personally, it's hugely rewarding to be involved with this work.